morning guys it's a beautiful morning this morning life is good life is good just waking up in the morning makes life a great day um, yeah guys so we back to reality we here working um, we heading down to the salon now um, yesterday we did uh, some painting not, not painting we did some patching of the walls um, so today I'm gonna do some sanding and some painting I'm gonna work on one room at a time I got three rooms to paint um, one room I already did the um, one room I already did the the patching so that's ready to go to sand yesterday I did some patching so today it should be ready to sand by today or later today um, I give it a full 24 hour two days to dry that that drywall compound so once it's dried properly then you could sand it because um, I put it on thick so because I put it on thick it takes longer to dry so um, I'm heading down now to sand one room and just go through it paint the whole thing and then um, I'm, I'm gonna have to do the floors in that room so that that room with the floors that need to be done I'm gonna um, I'm going to see how much tiles I need, how much floor tiles, and then go purchase those today. Um, that way I could, you know, finish them up between today and tomorrow and the next day. It's going to probably take about three days, three days worth of work. I could push and get it done in two days. Like I couldn't paint all three rooms in, in one day, right? But I am pressuring myself, guys. I got, I got a lot more work to do on the... Um, for the peppers project so I don't want to burn myself out you know what I'm saying it's best you, you you do the work little by little and not tired than do everything one time tired and then you gotta take two days to recover or a day to recover so I rather do it little by little every day yeah guys so you know as I said you know it's a beautiful morning it's nice and sunny outside See, nice and sunny outside. Um, you know, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. The sun is out. It's not hot, hot, hot as yet. It's going to be cool, but you know, it's going to be hot today. But it's cool right now. But yeah, um, guys, remember to, to, to subscribe to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button. You ain't got to hit no notification or anything. Just hit that subscribe at this point I'm, i just need subscribers you know what i'm saying so um it's going up i'm grateful what, for what i'm getting based on what i started when i started um a month or two ago to what i have now you know but um the analytics is saying that you know you guys are watching but you're not sub subscribing um at least 50 percent is not subscribing so um, based on what the analytics is saying just hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost a thing as I said you ain't gotta hit, um, hit the notification bell or anything at this point I just need to subscribe um, uh, I'm, I'm kind of giving myself a challenge I'm consistent with this every day so I'm trying to see if I could get um, get my, my thousand subscribers so I could get monetized guys every little bit helps so just hit that subscribe button and you know um, see if you could help me out on this channel so I, I have a little channel you know so by the end of the year it's now July so um, I have a little challenge with myself you know to, 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 to get those subscribers by the end of the year um, I'm trying to do this in eight months guys I know I know the, the the it takes longer than that I have friends who's in this two years three years and they just got their thousand subscribers so I know it's 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 you know it's far-fetched fetched but we're gonna try and make it happen we'll be consistent every day we're gonna post videos every day we're gonna you know get content every day I'm gonna get up and turn this camera on every day um, the only way I'm not gonna record is if it's not working and I got my phone I'm gonna use my phone and I have a little GoPro as well for backup so if it breaks I'm gonna get another one and keep going so 
um, as I said the, the channel is live every day if you watch a few images uh, footages before it's just live every day I get up and turn the camera on and speak to you guys and show you what I do every day so it could be anything it could be just making lunch it could be going to the salon going to peppers you know working on these things it could be anything guys anything whatever I get up and do that's what that's what you're gonna see so it's it's pretty much whatever you guys do at home as well you know it could be anything it could be just from me waking up or me brushing my teeth that's what this channel is about I'm not trying to go out there and get content you know specifically specifically for you guys so you know I ain't trying to get up and say hmm, what I'm gonna tape today or what am I gonna you know go out and get content for for you guys to see it's it's not that it's what I'm doing for that day and it's not a tutorial it's not a how-to it's just what I am doing and you know as I said if you guys want to see me if you see me doing something and you say hey can you show me how to do that drop a comment in there and, and then I'll probably do a video showing you how I did it you know what I'm saying so it just depends it could be it could be anything it depends on what the comments say or you know what I'm saying you know I haven't been getting any comment like that so but every now and then I'll show you how I change the oil change in the car how how I cut a piece of board or paint the wall I'll show you how I do it it's not no professional work or anything and no how to I ain't saying to go do this to do that the, the, the experts will show you how to do that there's a lot of experts here on YouTube who could show you how to do that so just saying this is what that's what the channel does this channel is and that's what I do you know, it's just my life every day you know I get up every day go do something you know at the end of the the, the after end of the the time it, it'll it'll pay off you know what i'm saying whatever i'm doing if i'm working on the salon i'm working on the peppers project at the end of the project it should be off if i get up every day and do something towards that project yeah so right now i'm i'm heading see we got the paint right there i use promar promar 200 um sharon williams promar 200 um I'm quite sure there's a lot of other paints. People might say there's better paints out there or whatever the case is. That's the one we use. I have an account over there, so we use that paint. Um, the Promar 200 is a white, white paint. It's a super white, um, um, semi-gloss kind of paint. So when we use this paint, they could wipe, you know, we could wipe the walls off and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, that's our base paint for, every, for all the rooms so it's easy when you have all the rooms in the same color if, if somebody messes up something then i could just easily you know touch it up and it blends right in you know we don't have to worry about this color that color you know what i'm saying we use one base color for all the rooms um the only time the rooms change color is when a customer uh, a tenant wants maybe like a an accent wall then we'll have them buy their paint and then we'll paint that one accent wall um, previously we we have been uh, when we just started we were allowing them to do a full color change but what we were realizing is that full color change costs too much to change it back um, so they'll go ahead and they'll buy their paint to, to change it full color but what was happening is they have us change it full color and they weren't they weren't staying long long enough some of these guys they they had us change the color and they never even started business so now we had to pay to go change it back when they never even started so we never even collected any rent from those tenants so now um it's been happening too too often so now we 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 you know we made a rule that we can't do full color changes anymore it has to be just one accent wall so the room has to be white but you could do one accent wall in there you know we're trying to stay with the theme our, our cabinets and moldings are black the, the the theme of the building is black white and, and a little red so you know we're, we're trying to stick with that theme even throughout the rooms you know so, so a lot of people they wanted us to change our chandeliers they want us to add plug this one girl she had us change molding colors to white we changed all sorts of stuff we changed but then 
when we changed it they they ended up um we changed it and they ended up never starting so they paid the deposit and paid maybe like the first month and the first couple weeks and then that was it like they never started working they ended up moving out they couldn't manage so i did all that work put wallpaper in there and did all of that we went all out on that roof all out and you know at their expense they paid for, for for all those things but we had to paint it and put the labor and the time in it well i had to do that and they never started so we never it you know we felt like we did all that work and and didn't even you didn't even last a year to, to you know to, to to work out your least least the, the, for the year so we didn't make no money we lost money on that so what happened is it that that just been happening too often so because it's happening too often we we decided you know we're not gonna go all out on on that now if they want to come in and pay somebody they could but we can't allow people to just come in and be doing what they want to do because they're gonna end up messing up the room and even if they 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 pay someone to do that if they don't start and move out we got to change it back so it's gonna cost us anyway so we just came up with that rule to not have so many changes done you only could change um, we only allow them to change <coughs> one room or something oh, let me, let me. Yeah, we only add one wall, not one room. We only allow them to change one wall at the moment. So let me unload these things, guys. I'm here at the salon, so I'm gonna unload the item, the, the things first, and then, uh, and then park the van over in the back. It gets crowded over here, guys. So I don't want you know. I want to put the van away in the back that way. No one, you know. You got people in here, they, they they be parking close to you, they be trying to maneuver between cars. So what I do, I park the van all the way to the back against a curb that way there's, you know, no one no one can can hit your vehicle. Uh, it does get crowded over here in the daytime. Once it gets 11, between 11, 12, 1, 2, when uh, brunch and... Marlowe's is open, you know, they got their lunch customers and brunch customers, it, it gets packed back here. So, let me take these things out. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take the uh, the vacuum, the ladder, I need that hand truck thing right there. I'm gonna take everything out and then get back to you. All right guys, so I got everything out. I got the ladder out, I got the, the uh, thing out, the vacuum. I'm gonna use all those. I'm gonna move these furniture over into the next room because when you sand it just makes a mess dust everywhere so I don't want to get these dusty so I'm gonna move them out the way um, let me go get the van park the van properly let me park the van properly and then come back let me check on the bathroom first make sure everything's good yeah it's not too bad it could it could run that So let me park the van over in a parking space. I'll be here for a while. So because I'll be here for a while, I'm gonna park the van way over in the corner. Yeah.
back there. Park it as close as possible. Alright. Brought my bananas today. Alright guys, so let's go. Let's go get cracking. Let's go get painting. Let's move these things and get going on the work. I got me some fruits. Get working. Alright guys, hold on one second. Let me go back in. Alright guys, so I'm gonna remove the all the the sockets, the covers, the socket covers and the switch covers. I'm gonna remove all of those so we could start sanding and painting so stay tuned covers off it makes the painting easier we don't have to be trying to paint around them you, you get them messed up the covers messed up so when you take them off you just paint you know what I'm saying paint and then this will cover all the imperfections so that's how we you know how to do it and painting and if you're painting in your house and so just Take the covers off guys it saves you a lot of time and mess to clean up you ain't got to worry about getting that brush around the edges you know once you take the covers off you just paint and then put the covers back on over it and that's it Yeah, all right, so those covers are off, so let me get sanded. So I use one of these black um, drywall compound sand uh, blocks. I, I don't know what, what grit it is. I think it's like a one something, 120 or I'm not sure, 80 grit. I'm not sure, one side is smoother than the other side. I bought it a long time ago, so I don't remember. This is like 120 and then here on the rough side the, the the lower the number the coarser it is so like these big ones right here if you use a coarse one like 80 grit then it, it knocks it down faster you know what i'm saying rub it two times and it's gone so more than two times i was just exaggerating guys They see all that dust, I don't know if you can see the dust, but it creates a lot of dust. So, because it creates a lot of dust, if you have the furniture in here, it, it clings to everything. That dust is gonna cling to everything. It sees nice and smooth now, but look, you can see the dust particles flying around. So, I'm gonna probably put my bags and stuff up here. Out of the dust. Because everything, Anything that's laying on the corner or anything like that, it's gonna get dusty. The phone is gonna get dusty. Everything is gonna get dusty.
guys so we we'll start the painting process um, I'm just gonna paint out all the edges first and then um, then we paint the walls so I go around all the edges with this smaller brush and um, get all the edges done I'm gonna do all around the moldings and all around the the ceiling moldings and the floor moldings I'm gonna paint those areas first See? paint that area first all around the floor on the floor as well oh, it's not it's falling on my face guys so that's why it's not so look i gotta paint the floor all the edges around this part around the um switches paint out all those sections first and then um and then I use the big roller with the stick and, and give the rest. So this is what I was talking about with the with the when you take the switch covers off, you just pin. You don't have to be lining up everything like oh I was doing up there. You just pin it like that, and then when you put the cover on, it covers. You know what I'm saying? You get the drift. Most of you guys out there are painters anyway. So with this this room because it already has a light color, more than likely I'll just give it one coat and that should go, be good one or maybe two coats. Sometimes it still shows through. Um, depends on how. Um, sometimes I give it one coat, sometimes two. We'll just have to do it, see how it looks, and then we we'll give it another coat. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going over and the spots that we we sand in with the white spots i'll put some paint over those those sections right so it's like we're priming out those sections before you know and anywhere where paint like the nail polish catch catched where any any kind of spill on the wall like they'll have nail polish spills um i'll just paint over those as well because when we do with that one coat, we don't have to go, it'll show through. Anywhere those paint spills are, it'll throw, show through. So, normally I go ahead and just paint out those sections, prime those sections, in other words. So no data usage charges and no I had to give pass. this one a the second of this device single-handedly threatens um, to destroy the entire industry of traditional quick. internet provider. Yeah, so I had to give 
this room, my second coat, it was a light color, but it's still showing through. So I had to, um, you know, give it a second coat. So right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it that second coat right now. Um, you know, I noticed most of these paints, it doesn't give good coverage, even if the color is light, whether it's light or dark. You still gotta give it two coats. Um, I know for sure with the green room, that green color room I showed you before, that room definitely gonna need at least three coats. That green is gonna show, show through. Um, so what I'll do is I'll buy some of the primer, prime it first, and then give it two coats. of um, paint. But definitely, I know the green room is going to be, it's going to be three quarts. One primer and then two paint. Um, I had a purple room before and that's what I had to do. The green just, is so dark and it just shows with white no matter what you do. But now I'm giving it the second coat. Once I give it a second coat, then I'm going to give it a break, take a break, and then come back later on and touch up any edges, do the moldings. Um, the moldings need, the floor moldings, they need to be redone. So I'm going to come back later on when everything is dry, let the paint smell the air out a little bit, and then do the moldings black. That section over there, there's a section that I just patched it today. I didn't see those holes. Um, they were behind the cabinet. So tomorrow I'll come and sand that part and I'll repaint that section of it. Um, tomorrow I'll move to the green room. I'm just gonna finish this one and then go over to the green room. Um, I patched those holes yes, yesterday. So. I just gotta let it dry. The drywall compound, let it dry properly. Once it's dry properly, then I could sand it. So tomorrow I'll sand and paint that room, the green room. And I'll work my way to the other front room, that big room in the front. Yeah. So, I'm on it, guys, I'm on it. I'm working my way around, you know? I'm just gonna do one room a day, pretty much, you know? One room a day and that way I don't get burnt out. I could do two rooms, three rooms, two rooms, if I push it, even three, you know? But it's not like it's, it's not like it's rented right away, so I, I have time. Yeah. I'm on the last little section right here and then I could wash the roller up, wash the brush up and then later on I'll come back and do the floor. So we got we got the second coat done. I'm gonna repaint this door black, but the second coat is finished. This section right here, 
I had um I'd missed these holes. There was cabinets right here, so I didn't see these holes. So I just patched these not too long ago. So once it dry tomorrow, I'm gonna sand it, sand these holes down, and then paint it. But for now, we got um, our second coat of white on there. I'm just gonna touch up like up by the edges up there. I'm gonna touch up those, um, give those a second coat, and then. By the baseboard, I'm gonna paint the baseboards. Once I paint the baseboards tomorrow, I'm gonna change a few of the flooring. They're really scratched up real bad, so I'm gonna change a few couple of those, the ones that need to change. The ones in the corner over here is good. I just changed those, They're, those are new. And this towards the front is good. It's just in the middle, right here. These in the middle, I'm gonna replace those. You know, paint the baseboards blacks, black touch up the cabinets um, but for the most part this room is done painted um, the, the chandelier I'm gonna clean the chandelier the vent up there I'm gonna clean those um, you know I'm probably repaint them black but they need cleaning this room was a nail room so when they file they got that little grinder that files the nail that that um, that dust from the nail it, it gets everywhere. You notice on top of the chandelier, it's dusty and you know, so it's just, I just gotta clean it once I'm done painting, clean the whole entire room on top of the cabinets up there. It's real dirty. On top of the like the door ledge, up on top on here, it's real dirty. So I'm just gonna go over it and give it a good clean once I'm finished painting. Put the switch covers back on. Um, and then this room would be ready to go. I'm gonna keep this room for a nail tech room. This this room and the one beside it, I'm gonna keep as a nail tech because it has the fan. It has um, the extraction fan set up where once you turn this on, the fan comes on, right? And then you got another light as well. But once you turn this on, it, it you could time it, um, you know, 60 minute, 30 minute, or you could hold it down and keep it on um, where it stays on so yeah this room we're gonna keep as a nail tech room because it has that extraction fan um, but yeah guys I'm gonna head out now and get something to eat and then come back um, come back later on and do the baseboard paint the baseboard paint the doors um, put the covers back on and then this room will be done once I do that. I'll probably do the floors another day. I'm gonna have to comb the amount I need and um, go pick them up. I don't think I have a lot of it in storage. So yeah, um, it's a day's work. Um, took me a couple hours, maybe about, took me about four hours. I was here from like nine, started like nine, 10 o'clock. And it's now, So I would say three hours, three hours worth of painting. Um, yeah, four, three hours worth of painting. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get something to eat, head back and do the baseball. Check back in. <laughs> 